Welcome to Kind of Stuff in Macarbush channel. In today's video we're going to show you how to replace the throttle body unit on an MK5 Volkswagen Jetta equipped with a 2.5 liter 5 cylinder gasoline engine. The problem this car is having is when the outside temperature is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit the vehicle stops accelerating. It just stays at idle. So no matter how much a person tries to accelerate the car We'll just be at idle all the time until you turn it off and you let it cool down. So this part is getting so hot that it stops working. Like I said, the outside temperature is usually over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So at that point, the temperatures under the hood are extremely high. Anything under 100 degrees, you know, 95 and, and less, vehicle works great, plenty of power, plenty of acceleration, no issues whatsoever. So like I said, this only happens when the outside temperature is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to replace it. The engine cover is made of plastic, so while removing it, be careful not to break it. The engine cover is held by four rubber grommets. One here, here, and then two on the other side. Go ahead and remove the engine cover by hand by just lifting it off, but as you can tell, this one is pretty tight on there, so we're going to have to use a pry bar to remove it. Alright, we have the back loose, now I'm just going to move to the front. To lift the back side here of the engine cover, I'm going to remove the battery cover to make it easier. We're going to be prying right here on the engine cover, so for safety we're going to place this over the battery. Now we're going to move over to the front. For safety, if you don't have one of these covers, it'd be smart to disconnect the battery cables. Now we're going to remove the two air intake screws. To disconnect the sensor, put your screwdriver in here, turn it a little bit, pry it, and then pull it out. Next step is to disconnect the air intake hose from the engine cover. Right, once the hose is disconnected, make sure and slide the clamp all the way over. That way the clamp does not destroy the air intake hose. Next, disconnect the MAF sensor just as you did the air intake sensor. Once everything is disconnected, go ahead and remove the engine cover. Now that our pretty tech Joe just show how easy it is to remove the cover, uh, the next step is to continue disconnecting the items from the throttle body unit. So we're going to disconnect the hoses that attach to it and the electrical connectors. To disconnect these hoses, you have to press on the clamp and pull it out like that and then repeat that with this one to be able to remove the air intake hose. To disconnect the electrical connector, there's a tab right there, a plastic tab that needs to be pulled 
back with your thumb or your finger whichever and as you pull it back you need to pull the connector out at the same time to be able to disconnect it. If you're having a hard time uh, doing it with your thumb or your finger you can also slide a small pick right here and what that does it pries the tab open and you can slide the connector out once you release it. So you can do it either way. See how it moves right there? What I'm going to do now is remove the retaining bolts. As I slide the throttle body unit out, I'll make room to finish disconnecting the electrical plug and detach the last hose that's located at the bottom. separate this alright so I disconnected the electrical plug to be able to turn the throttle body upside down and have more room so move, move this clamp out of the way there's going to be a little bit of coolant that may come out. It's just a matter of disconnecting the last hose. Take note of which one goes where. The one that's angled is the one that goes on this side closest to the air intake plenum. And the one that is straight is the one that goes on the outside towards the air intake hose. So probably couldn't put them wrong anyways but it's important to remember where everything comes out of that way installation becomes it's a lot easier once you have the throttle body removed remove the old gasket before installing your new throttle body or remanufacture whichever you've got clean the mounting surface and install a new gasket you know, a new o-ring and install everything back on Make sure you slide the clamps on each hose and tighten the screws that fasten the throttle body, connect everything and install the cover back on after you're done. I install everything back on. I'll start this right and see how it runs. Anymore. I'm going to wait a little bit and we'll take the test drive again. 